website and I don't know that you guys uh, know this thing or not but if you go on Google and search that how many websites uses the PHP then you will get to know that 80% of the world websites are made with PHP so uh, we are gonna do the same thing or we are, or you can say that I am going to show the example with the PHP Laravel so let's start this video okay so the part is uh, to do this thing there are many ways for example you can use the Instagram API directly by going on the Facebook and creating your developer account and from there you can get those API and access the Instagram but what I'm going to do is show you the shorter and the easiest way to use this thing so basically I will get a help of package and the package name is uh, Instagram PHP scrapper right so this uh, PHP scrapper package is used for both uh, you can install this via composer or you can also download it via git right I have also added a link here when you open this link you will directly uh, comes here and you can see that Instagram PHP scrapper right uh, and we can install it via composer or you can download it if you are uh, doing this thing with the PHP or if you are doing with the Java then you can you have to see this example right okay well I'm not going to do, do the with Java I will do with the PHP Laravel okay uh, now we will back to the code okay those so the very first thing is we have to create one route so that uh, when someone hits the URL and then it's come to the controller and where we write the our business logic so I have added one route here you can see gallery right and here is the gallery controller so what happens when someone visit this URL gallery it will directly come to the gallery controller in my index function right so where it will go it will go inside the gallery controller and here is the index function okay so the very first line is that that you have to pass your Instagram username and password well uh, if you see the older videos uh, in the older videos you can get the Instagram images without giving your username and password but now the Instagram has blocked those things I also have tried two three things uh, which given on the internet but after two three times when you hit the uh, API right it starts uh, like it's block your IP and after that you can't use this API again and again and you can't get those images so it's better to pass the your Instagram user and password here right after that do the Instagram login save the session so that we don't have to like uh, log in every time right and after that you have to pass here account ID right the account ID from where you, you want to get those images right so let's see that what all things is coming here when we are getting the account info right uh, so I am putting a DD here account so let's see that what is coming out here okay okay so you can see that when I DD here you can see that here coming is the FB ID uh, his username his full name right and his uh, uh, profile pic URL his biography his followers count his uh, following count the number of photos he have uploaded is the 651 media right and here is his media right so what all we need is we have a need of media because I'm because basically what we do uh, you, you see that uh, uh, to feed the Instagram to website means we we need to show the images which we are uploading on the Instagram right so in the next line you see that I am getting those media right here so let's uh, do let's delete it okay. now see, see. Hmm. now you can see that there uh, the medias which is comes in the array you can see the square images right and there is also one called image with the image with image high resolution URL right so we need this one image high resolution URL so what I'm going to do is first from this URL I am going to save this image in my local folder and then I will display to the page the reason behind it is saving the image to speed up the process right because if you show directly to the to, to your website it might speed slow down to the pages right so 
first what I am doing here, you can see that I am uh, doing a for each loop here and I am saving this image to my public folder and then right and then I will send those images with to the compact right. You can do this thing in a, that way that you can save the name which you are saving in the public folder. You can save the name in the database and then where is the blade file you can do a loop and so by the name so i am doing here a simple thing i am saving the name with like 0.png 1.png 2.png you can see the key here right and when i run you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 11 right and i have just run a for each loop on these images see here in the gallery right key.png so it's like 0.png 1 2 3 5 in this way okay so let me uncomment this uh, 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 okay fine now let's see the result okay it's coming coming okay now you see that the the account id i have added here is took all those photos from the id and we can able to see this right so you can pass here some other also let's say uh, one is there that uh, Kumar I center or let's suppose uh, code hunger uh, code underscore hunger Page is not loaded well. Let's replace it. Is the CSS issue? Okay. 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 Now, now it's coming. Now you see that the Im images has came here, right? Right. It's showing the it's showing a uh, twelve most re recent images, which is uploaded by me on my Instagram profile, right? I hope you now you have the basic idea of that how we can do this thing, right? And how to feed instagram thing to your website right so if you understood this thing please do subscribe my channel please do this thing and if this thing uh, really helps you to do this thing with you right uh, to integrate thing with your website then please do a like and share with your friends because because I, because what i believe is sharing is getting right okay and thank you so much for watching my video